So apolipoprotein E, that is one of the most um, common genetic SNPs that I test for and see. And basically what it means is this is your, um, your high cholesterol risk marker, this is your high inflammatory risk marker, and this is your Alzheimer's gene. Now there's tons of reasons to develop Alzheimer's and we're still kind of figuring it out, but this one is definitely associated with Alzheimer's. So if you've got a four, so there's three different possibilities, two, three, and four. The three is considered the normal one. So if you got a copy from mom, a three, and a, a three from dad, then you're perfectly fine as far as this risk is considered um, and you're at lower risk for Alzheimer's and inflammation. However, if you get one copy of a four, then you're automatically in a higher tier risk of, of inflammation or Alzheimer's. If you get two copies of a four, man, you've got to be on the straight and narrow all your life because your risk is just extremely multiplied. We talked about turning on genes and turning off genes. Well, when you've only got two bad copies, you can't really turn one of them off that well. Um, or I should say, if you turn the other one on, well, it's also bad. And so those people really have to eat a, a, a great Mediterranean high omega-3 um, diet, low in carbs and bread and stuff. And so <clears throat> the other gene that or the other uh, mutation that can go along with that is a two. So three is normal, four is really bad. A two is considered the in-between. It raises your risk, but not as significantly as a four. So this person has a combo of a two and a four. So because they've got a four, they're at increased risk and they can't really rely on their other gene because that one's mutated also because it's a two. And so this person is at high risk for inflammation. And of course, they're actually struggling from inflammation. And that was one of the reasons I was seeing them. So basically what we advised her to do, what I advised her to do was to eat a Mediterranean style diet, higher in omega-3s, and she's really got to watch out for the carbs. 